Both Waze and Google Maps have their own fan following. Some like one and some even like both. In this video, we'll cover the 7 features of Waze that are not in Google Maps. So, let's get started. When I navigate in both, I always see the road limit on Waze regardless of the street type. The community-based app has speed limit data for almost all the roads in many countries. When a speed limit is changed anywhere, it gets picked up quickly because of its users and is updated within days. Google Maps has started implementing speed limits but it only supports the main roads at the moment. On the same navigation topic, I like how Waze warns you about the speed cameras. When there is a speed camera close by, Google Maps just beeps. Also sometimes it's late in notifying and I hear the beep when I'm right there. Waze makes a circle on the map when you are a few hundred meters away and then it alerts you via sound. The bottom row also hides everything and shows the distance to the camera. Lastly, if your car speed is over the limit when the camera is ahead, it turns red. None of these are offered on Google Maps. The next on the list is Parking Location Saver. When you arrive at your destination, tap this button and then the second button. We can save our location to easily find the car when we come back. You can also send this location to your friends. I don't think Google Maps can save our parking spot. This round is all about convenience. We can plan drives in both apps, but Waze has a few additional options. Firstly, we can see the traffic at different times. This is based on historical data. Secondly, we can set reminders. Suppose I have to leave for the airport at this time. Waze will remind me to leave. Also, it can check your location and remind you earlier or later if your location has changed. This will ensure that you arrive at the airport at the requested time. Another reminder type is Child Reminder. When set up, the app reminds you about your child when you arrive at the destination. It also reads your custom message just in case you don't see your phone screen. Overall, we find more reporting options on Waze. Google Maps has added the essential ones, but Waze has those extra reporting tools that may help your fellow Waze users on the road. The second last great thing about Waze is that how clean its interface is. Google Maps is not just a navigation app, it's more than that, which makes it a crowded and slow app. Waze interface is clean with a few options only. Also, it uses various road colors to help you differentiate between major roads and streets. Google Maps also has different colors, but Waze has more. Moving on, we get voice recording next. This old option that we don't have in Google Maps is recording your own voice. Tap add a voice and record for each command. Then instead of the original voice, you'll hear your voice. With that done, I have some more Waze features that are not found in Google Maps. Waze displays other users, also called Wazers, around your area. You can see their average speed and points and beep or text them. The app shows the average car speed on busy roads. Sometimes it's accurate and sometimes it's not, but it gives an idea of how busy that road is right now. Another feature is enabling the battery saver. If your phone is dying, you can enable this option to dim the screen on parts of the journey. Next, we get toll passes. If you have a pass for a toll, you can add it. With that, Waze will not avoid those roads when the avoid toll roads option is checked. Waze has vehicle modes. For taxi drivers, there is a separate option. Honestly, I don't see much difference, but uh, choosing the right car could help you get to your destination quicker. Lastly, the app has a quick music option. The best part is that it supports multiple platforms. We need to set them up, but uh, once done, an icon will be here to browse and play your favorite music without leaving ways. With that said, this is it. If you like this video, check out my other related videos. Catch you next time. Take care.